What's up, everybody? It's your favorite hood healer. It's your favorite hood high priestess. It's your favorite motivational dominatrix. It's your favorite auntie, captain, goddess, king, lady speech in the place to be. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world and you're also sharing a little bit of time and a little bit of space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you are feeling any of this, and if you are feeling any of me, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby, and make sure you hit that notifications bell so you can keep up with all of my happenings and shenanigans and goings ons and things. Now. Let's get into today's video. Let's get into today's tarot review. Shall we? All right, all right, all right, my sugar honey dumplings. This is a review that I cannot wait to give to you today. We are talking about the illustrious, the amazing, the artistic, the divine, and the most beautiful Muse Tarot. First and foremost, I need to let you know that this is not sponsored. Uh, secondly, I need to let you know that I love this deck. We're going to start out the review like that. I love this deck. So, I encountered this deck from a friend of mine. So, if you happen to be on TikTok, First and foremost, make sure you're following me, Lady Speech Sankofa, and as well, make sure you're following my friend, Only Confi, Only Confidence. You can look up the hashtag, Only Confi, C-O-N-F-I, or Only Confidence, all right? This is a magic sistrin of mine that I have loved for a very long time. Fellow reader, fellow priestess, fellow poet, fellow amazing being of light okay she was the first one that i saw with these cards and i was like oh my god i have got to get my hands on these cards these cards are beautiful they're artistic they're divine and we're gonna talk about it today okay so i got these cards where did i get these cards i got these cards from herbs and arts in Colorado, which is right off of Colfax and Race. I will make sure that I put that in the description so you can get all linked up. They've got a website. You can order this from them on the website, baby. And some of you guys know that I do readings as of right now at Herbs and Arts every single Thursday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Ha <laughs> ha! Come and see me if you're in Denver, Colorado. But if you're not in Denver, Colorado, you can order these on Amazon, BB. I checked, you can get them. So you can go to Amazon. This was on my wish list, but I literally could not wait. So I went and got them myself. So that's where I got them and where you can get them. And you also might be able to get them from a local apothecary, apothecary or magic store or botanica in your area. Call them up, baby and ask them if they got what you need. Now that we've talked about where you can get them and where I got them, and now that you already know that I'm absolutely in love with this deck, before we get to talking about all the things I love about this deck, let's talk about the cons, what I don't like about this deck. And I really only have one complaint. Actual, no, I have one complaint. The one complaint is that I wish the cards were just a bit thicker. That's it. I think the cards are a good consistency right now. I think they are a pretty good thickness right now. Um, but I, I prefer a thicker card because I use these with other people and I use my cards quite often. So, at, and these days I prefer a thicker card. Now. That's literally the only complaint I have about the card is that I wish they were a little bit thicker. 
with that being said i think it's a good thickness now i think it's it's not paper thin it's not a set of cards there's a set of cards that i have that i actually don't read from because it's so thin and because like and i don't do anything extra with my cards but when I'm shuffling and things of that nature, I don't want to get, number one, a paper cut. I don't want any of my clients to get a paper cut if I happen to let them, you know, shuffle the cards. And also, my cards stay with me. I don't really throw or give away my cards, so I need them to last. And those paper thin cards just don't last. So, this is not uh, paper thin, but... It could be just a pinch thicker for my liking. Just a pinch thicker. So those are the things that I don't like about it. Now let's get into the things that I love about this deck. Ah let's talk about packaging. So when I got the deck, it looked just like this. The only difference was that it was wrapped in cellophane. I think this is basic packaging and it's good packaging and it's, it's okay. The basic packaging is good because the box itself is beautiful. So number one, it was just wrapped in cellophane. I think that's how you say that. And that's okay because the deck itself is so beautiful. You're seeing the back, you're seeing the side, you're seeing the bottom. So this is a really beautiful deck. I actually enjoyed just it being wrapped in clear cellophane so I could see through into the deck. The box itself is pretty sturdy. So I like to keep my tarot cards in their containers, in their boxes as much as possible or as long as possible. And then when I finally worn that out, I will then get a cover or if the cover just was not cute or wasn't sustainable for me uh, then I will get a cover for it but this is a box that I'm gonna keep this is the inside of the box this is the box that's pretty actually durable and I know I'm gonna keep these in a good place so these are gonna be able to stay in the box for a very long time super big fan of what they put the cards in this is nice cardboard this is durable cardboard it is sustainable cardboard and it's gonna look nice i also feel good about just throwing this in my bag um i have an organized way in which i put things in my you know i have like traveling bags for my altars and for my cars these days so they don't just get thrown haphazardly into the bag however I would not mind just, if I was in passing, grabbing one of these cards, if Spirit told me to, and just throwing it in my bag. This is pretty durable. So, about the packaging, I love it. Let's talk about the guidebook. This is a standard size for the guidebook, and it fits right inside of this packaging. So perfect. This is a pretty sturdy guidebook. The binding is pretty good. Uh, the pages are pretty good. It's small like the rest of them, but it's very thick, okay? In regards to guidebooks, when it comes to um, tarot cards, this is a pretty thick book. Let's take a look about, yeah, so that's a pretty thick book. It's pretty substantial. The font is very clear. If you have issues with your eyesight, if you have issues with little books, then like this is gonna be a problem for you. Um, but in regards to little books, this is one of the best that I've seen. The binding is really good on this. And it's just a thick little book. It's a good book. This is a good book. This is a good book. So I like the guidebook that goes with it. Let's get down and get into the cards themselves. So first and foremost, let me pick up the whole deck and spread this out for you. Loving these cards loving these cards loving the color scheme loving the pastels loving the design loving these cards so let's get a little bit deeper into the back of the card let me show you baby let me show ya let me show ya baby let me show ya all righty then so we've got this like Teal, Tiffany, blue, Tiffany, green. I don't know what you call this kind of background pastel green, blue thing going on. Uh, at the edges of the card, we've got some roses. So these pink roses and the vines. And then in the middle, I am not sure what that is. It looks like a flower or a symbol of sorts. So right here in the middle, let me see if we can get this camera to focus. You've got some type of symbol. It kind of reminds me of an eye, like the evil eye or whatever. And then surrounding that, you've got 
this triangle of what it looks like or in or invokes the energy of light so this triangle of light around the cards I love the back of these these are aesthetically pleasing it gives a very calming energy and it's just beautiful it's just beautiful it's just absolutely positively beautiful okay let's pull a couple of the cards to look at the front of the cards this is where the magic happens this is where the art is oh every card uh, every card is truly beautiful every card is truly beautiful every card is truly artistic i just chose three i could spend all day showing you this whole deck i'm not going to i'm not going to i don't want to take up all your time i just want to take up a little bit of your time so let's take a look at the night of voices well before we actually look at the card let's go over the breakdown of the muse tarot and tarot and how they uh they do what they do so this is a tarot deck it follows the basic setup of tarot so there is a major arcana and from what i can see is this follows uh the basic uh, major arcana situations when it comes to other um tarot decks that was really weird how I just said that, but whatever. Anyway, so the major arcana is pretty universal, and people really don't deviate from that. Um, but the minor arcana is where people take a little bit of liberties. So we've got the minor arcana, and for this deck, we have the suit of inspiration. Can you see that? Yes. So we have the suit of inspiration. Let me see what else do we have. We have... The suit of emotions. So we have suit of information, inspiration, excuse me, suit of emotions. We have the suit of voices. There you go, there you go, there you go. And lastly, we have the suit of materials. So that is how the minor arcana is set up. Now let's take a look at some of these cards individually. Again, I'm not gonna go through all of these cards because we will spend three hours here, but I'm just gonna choose a few of these cards to see, to let you witness the magnificence of this art, all right? So first and foremost, we have got the Number 18 of the Major Arcana, the moon. I love this. I love these cards because they're simple yet complex. So not a lot of good things going on in this card, but because it's so simple and everything is strategically placed, there is a whole lot of going on in this card. I love how the prominence of the moon is. I love this human-like figure and then these statue figures. And I just love this artwork. It reminds me of like, art deco it reminds me of like 1950s simplicity and beauty it just i love the lines i love the angles i love all of that we're gonna move on to the night of voices this card is magnificent it's just magnificent. It's just magnificent. Again, simple and complex. Simple and complex. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this camera does not do these cards justice. So, simple. Not a lot of things going on, but when we look at the composition of the card, a lot of things are going on. This right here is a circle of clouds, but the way that it is positioned, it looks like the sun. But what do we know? The sun rests within a circle of clouds. We have this Pegasus figure right here, and then we have got, what is that? What is that? The clouds, and then the mountains rising above the clouds. Beautiful. This is just beautiful. Let's just, let's just take a couple, a look at a couple more of these cards. Oh, the 10 of materials. Again, I'm not reading you. I chose these cards at random just to show you. So this is not a reading, but I did want to show you the beauty of these cards. So this is 10 and this is the 10 of uh, materials. I love, it reminds me of um, collage art. It reminds me of collage art. I love collaging. So this is the 10 of materials. Beautiful peep the rose tree, the rose bush that's been turned into a tree, and then everybody surrounding this. It's just beautiful. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. Let's take a look at one more card. 
This is number 20, Awakening, and I believe this is of the Major Arcana. I love this. Also, shout out to Diversity. You can clearly see that that is a black person. That is a black woman. That's a black femme. That's a black man. That's a black person. And I love how majestic they look. I love how their hair looks. I love how they are portrayed. I love it all. I love it all. So, I love this deck. Speaking of diversity, that is one of the things that I do love about this deck is that when you go through it, it definitely has, you know, realistic humanoid figures, but there are people, the figures that they use are black, brown, indigenous. There are also people who um, are tattooed and who are body modified. I love this deck. Once again, this is not a sponsored post, but I love this deck. I love this deck. I love this deck. If you're looking for decks that have a little bit of diversity included, this isn't the most diverse deck I've ever seen, but they doing pretty good. They doing pretty good. I can tell that there is white people. I can tell there is Latinx people. I can tell that there are indigenous people. I can tell that there are black people. Could they have maybe diversified these images a bit more or maybe alluded to people's cultures a bit more? Yes, they probably could have. But I also think that they're moving in the right direction with these cards. These cards are freaking beautiful, amazing, and awesome. Have I used these cards in a reading? Yes, I have. I've used these cards in a general reading, and you will definitely see these cards all over my page. I'm in love with them. They're beautiful. This is a deck that I'm going to keep for a very long time. And this is also a deck I might rebuy and make some art out of. I've been threatening to make tarot art for a long time because I'm definitely someone who believes in collaging and I'm good at it. Um, and these cards inspire me to do just that. So I might just buy another deck and make a work of art from that deck from these cards. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, and they're divine. And I definitely, if you want to pick them up, I really feel like you should. I really feel like you should. Let's talk about my spiritual connection to the cards. Can I read easily with them? Yes. Uh, the way the suits are set up, I believe they are. They're easy to interpret, but also they give you freedom to interpret. So let's just pull a random card. Yes. I absolutely love this is perfect. So this is the five of emotions. You can obviously tell that this is emotions have to do with the water element. You there's a lot of things that you can take literally from this card and then if we opened up the book, you would be able to glean a lot of um thing a lot of what the description says from the uh the look of this card. However, what I appreciate about this card is that yes, Yes, the pictures do depict the meaning that the person broke down in the description. However, it's artistic enough and free enough where I feel like you can really connect and build your own interpretations and meanings into the cards. So, there is a basic and universal way to read tarot cards and then there are all of us who read cards and do it from, from our way, from our magic. And this Muse Tarot, I believe, and in my opinion, lends to, lends to the magic of you being able to imbue a lot of your own meanings into the cards, okay? So yeah, there is a baseline. There is a guidebook to these cards. However, this is a deck that you can take a few liberties with. This is a deck that you can be a little bit freer with. This is a deck where you can really intertwine your practice and intertwine your energy into and with these cards. So, what I recommend, ten out of ten, I would recommend. All right, y'all, and that's that on that. And that's that on divination. And that's that on spiritual counsel. And that's that on tarot. If you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. Thank you so very much for paying attention. Your time and your attention is valuable currency. So thank you for spending any of that with me. I appreciate the holy hell out of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just in case nobody has told you today, you are wonderful. You are divine and you are valid. You matter on this planet. 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 So thank you.
for doing everything you need to do, doing everything you have done to survive. And on that note, I'm gonna let you go. I will see you all in the next review. I will see you all in the next video. I will see you all in the next rant. I will see you all soon. Until then, love yourself, take care of yourself, love your community, and take care of your community. And I will see you all very, very soon.